everyone uses food as a vice. And if they don't use food as a vice, they probably use something else that is some sort of short-term pleasure. Some people resort to drink, some people resort to drugs. Um, obviously, food is probably a better thing to turn to than that. Some people use the gym, some people go out a run, some people online shop. I know that my missus, when she does night shifts, she's an online shopper and that's the that's the thing she struggles with. Um, so we all cope with our emotions and a, a lot of us use food to do that. The biggest reason I have emotionally, say in 2023 last year, I can think of multiple times, is when a client has been a bit of a dick to me, maybe a, a bit rude or... I don't really bother when people don't stick to what I've given them because that's my job to try work out why that's happened and then come up with a solution after that. But I've had the odd person, you know, be pretty rude to me or just say something I wasn't expecting. I had one guy, this was like two or three years ago, so I can tell this story, right? Listen to this. He went, I don't, I've set new goals and I don't think you're taking them seriously. And I was like, you didn't tell me you're setting new goals, but what are they? And he sent me back a picture of Zac Efron saying he had a dad bod and I was like that's tipped me today that's definitely tipped me I mean I've been going to the gym for six years and I'm in nowhere near as good shape as Zac Efron and the guy is definitely on gear seeing these situations I would maybe shut my laptop I would go to Aldi I would get low calorie ice cream I actually like the low calorie ice cream so that's why I choose that um, I'd maybe pick up something else like some popcorn or something just whatever tickles my fancy because i don't emotionally react in the moment to those things i ha i might go away and just be like take a, a little bit to think and then i'll come back but it can be quite hard when people are f throwing these random expectations at, at you that are impossible and bla like they can people can blame you if like they feel like they're not making progress even though they're not sort of like sticking to things i never come at it from telling them look that's your responsibility to do that i don't think that really works but i kind of dig deep into like why they maybe haven't managed to do things then maybe scale things back that sort of thing but it can be quite emotional and you're also taking on people's stuff all the time people can be in dire situations sometimes you can be in being that sort of job role where you're taking on a lot of other, other people's shit you, you try not do it but it's quite hard sometimes so i emotionally eat as a personal trainer who helps people with their diet it's normal you're gonna have situations where you might want to turn to food however you might get better down the line at choosing better food to turn to because i can actually emotionally eat i don't know like a wagamama's <laughs> do you know what? instead of two massive bits of chocolate i can actually emotionally eat on something that i, I can emotionally eat on just amount, an amount of something so even if it was a, a cooked dinner but it was something i really wanted food that's closer to hitting your goals can also satisfy you emotionally as well so it doesn't have to be that i want to turn to chocolate because that's more sort of like also self-sabotaging yourself and that's where you're going to go down a route where you know you're going to talk to yourself badly and feel horrendous after it you're already telling yourself before you're like i'm going to feel horrendous after this chocolate whereas i'll go in even if i get the ice cream i bang that i watch it's always sunny in philadelphia i bang popcorn and say i buy a, like a smaller dairy milk i bang that i'm like 500 calories over my limit for that day but i know that i might weigh more on the scale the next day then it'll come back down i know the next day once i usually sleep i usually if, I, if i'm in a mood when i go to bed i usually wake up in the morning and i in a better mood and i just treat that day like nothing happened the day before i don't berate myself for it and it's the the berating yourself and really feeding into that guilt that will cause you to emotionally eat even more so you've got the event that might make you do something emotionally maybe that's going to be food but then what you do after emotionally eating is where the problem is because then you can continue emotionally because of what you're saying to yourself or you can just 
be like, cool, that actually made me feel better in the moment. The ice cream makes me feel better. It makes me stop thinking about what happened. Like if some if a client said something ridiculous to me, it makes me stop thinking about it. And if used in a non-extreme way, it can actually be like a positive thing. Like emotional eating isn't, isn't, it doesn't have to be this really destructive behaviour. Obviously, everyone's in different parts of that spectrum, but it doesn't have to be that destructive.